Hey, y'all. Back from lunch. But, so, this is Chakra Wanda. Emperor Chakra Wanda. I am your spiritual, I am a spiritual encourager. And my intention is to add value to others through guidance and encouragement um, as we choose to live an intentional, intuitive lifestyle. So, intentional, intuitive, I was talking earlier about what that is. Um, I'm going to give you another example of what just happened. So, uh, my previous video, I decided to take advantage of my lunch break, three-hour lunch break, and go to the park. And um, I listened to my intuition about what felt good to do with this time. So, I'm back now. Uh, I got a text from my client. She's running about 10 minutes late, but let's see. I still got another 45 minutes, so this is good. I decided to sit here in the car. And um, today is the day was that I was going to start the process of uh, looking, you know, to get an application for a uh, passport. And I find out that it's best to go online. You have to go online and schedule an appointment with the Postal Service. So I got to do that. I can take care of that now. As I told you, <laughs> I, I saw Queen Ra TV uh, Queen Ra, Queen R A T V on I G, and she, she saw me come in to listen to her, watch her live, and she said, "You get your passport process started," and I was like, "Today!" So I love accountability. She don't realize she's in the called activated the accountability in me to do that. So um, so uh, I was finishing uploading the previous, you know, that particular video, and so I was here saying going in and another video popped up and I'm going to list that video underneath the description here and it's a, a, a woman talking to others about 55 plus black women 55 plus considering living out of the country here we go right and um I mean her conversation you know some of the points so Divine synchronicities, let me just say, living an intuitively intentional life is paying attention to the signs. So at the time that her video came on, I noticed the clock. It was 4.44. Now, I'm going to be, you know, y'all know, well, not all y'all know, but I love um, divine signs. And one of the, the ways that I pay attention and things manifest and clarity comes is repeated numbers, you know. So, uh, numerology, I'm into angelic numerology. Yep, there is a, there's such a thing. There's a, a, a source. I'm going to give you a source, another link under here. So, if you see repeated numbers all the time, uh, check out Sacred Scribes, sacredscribes.com. I'm going to put the links. I'm going to put two links. Well, there's a whole other bunch of links that are underneath. First of all, my description, I'm going to make sure I put the same information as well to how to see um, all of the creative expressions that I've done over the years. That'll be way below that. But for this video reference, take a look at the, um, the video of the lady that I said her topic is 55, black women 55 plus um, looking, you know, consider leaving the U.S., and then Sacred Scribes. If you see repeated numbers, you can go to this uh, website and it has a table of all kinds of numbers. I, I like the angelic a number approach. Um, it, it's more, it's uplifting. You know, it's insightful. And I bought, I referenced that site for, it. you know, when I used to do readings, I referenced that site just for myself. So anyway, 444 showed up and 444 represents the fact that your angelic team, you know, all your angels are surrounding you in that moment. But I use repeated numbers as a acknowledgement of whatever it is I'm 
uh, it's it's a wink, you know, from the divine, from 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 the spiritual realm that watches over us. It's a wink to say, yes, yes, you're right on track. Yes, yes, what you're thinking is true. What you're feeling is true. Yes, it's like breadcrumbs, like Hansel and Gretel, right? And so it came up just as this lady's um, video came up. And she's talking about, you know, considering moving out of the country to live a life with more grace and ease. But there's a couple of words that she said that also was a confirmation for me because it's words that I always use. She talked about getting out of the hamster wheel. Okay. Yes. Hmm. That's how I see it. I've always seen it. I always talk to everybody about that. I'm like, man, this, I was just telling my daughter the other day, this, this thing here on the planet is a big old hamster wheel and everything in your life is a hamster wheel. You understand it's nothing but hamster wheels of hurry, worry. Let's get back on track. You know, oh my God, y'all got to listen to this lady's, um, um, video. Because she is addressing black women 55 plus. But the bottom line is, look, I say to y'all, if you 30, you 25, you 40, black woman, you need to consider. <laughs> yeah, think outside the box. Don't get off the hamster wheel, baby girl. Get off the hamster wheel. Yeah, it'll help with your mental wellness for sure. For sure. But, uh, yep, so I just wanted to point that out that that living an intuitively intentional lifestyle you will notice things pop up come be brought to your attention confirmations left and right you know um i appreciate you coming liking this video subscribing and hit the bell so you get the notices i'm still learning the tools i've been playing around with the premiere feature so I'm going to learn more about, you know, YouTube premieres. Like, I'm going to post this one and post it as a premiere. But I need to learn more about what that does. I'm also reevaluating all of the social platforms I'm currently, that I have. And reevaluating the ones that I will archive. You know what I mean? No longer continue because I haven't been active on them. So that I can focus on when I do videos uploading one time and that and and that be able to transfer to the specific places you know that I want most primarily is YouTube that's I think I'm gonna stick definitely stick with that but I um I know that I can edit you know the video for a three minute clip to put to TikTok and um and one other place would be my IG. But anyway, I'm going to be looking at Facebook because I have a Facebook angelic page. I have a Facebook uh, group that I have not been active in. Um, I need to, you know, streamline things so I don't feel myself going back into um, the hamster wheel. I don't want this to be feel like a hamster wheel. I want this to be natural. You know, right? I want it is, it is. It's gonna be what I choose it to be, right? So blessings to each and every one of y'all and you who uh desire to uh live and maintain and enhance and increase or take on the idea of living an intentionally intuitive lifestyle. Yes, yeah, stay open right listen right to how you're wired right um i'm gonna speak about that more i'll know who you you know you'll know what of what i do or what i share resonates with you and throughout the rest um blessings to you don't forget like subscribe and hit that bell blessings